This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at infrared absorbance by greenhouse gases. Carbon dioxide strongly absorbs electromagnetic radiation with a wavelength that falls within the infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. So here we have the electromagnetic spectrum and you can see that infrared lies between microwaves and visible light. When carbon dioxide absorbs infrared radiation, it causes the bonds in the carbon dioxide molecule to vibrate. The natural frequency at which the bonds in the carbon dioxide molecule vibrate corresponds to the frequency of infrared radiation. On the left, we can see three vibrational modes of the carbon dioxide molecule. They are symmetrical stretching, asymmetrical stretching and bending. Two of these vibrational modes, that's asymmetrical stretching and bending, produce a change in the dipole moment of the carbon dioxide molecule. In order to absorb infrared radiation, there must be a change in the dipole moment of the molecule as the bonds undergo asymmetrical stretching or bending. So when a carbon dioxide molecule undergoes asymmetrical stretching or bending, there's a change in the dipole moment of the molecule. This enables the molecule to absorb infrared radiation. Diatomic nonpolar molecules such as nitrogen and oxygen are not greenhouse gases. Oxygen and nitrogen only have one vibrational mode involving a stretching and compression of the bond length. This does not create a change in the dipole moment of the molecule, therefore they do not absorb infrared radiation.